one of the things that the internet has changed is the way that musicians and artists more generally and just people respond to criticism when it's amplified online. And it's changing the actual music. So last summer, Beyonce changed the lyrics to one of her songs, Renaissance, because the song contained the word spaz, which a lot of people online argued was a kind of slur. Lizzo pulled the same lyric from one of her songs after a similar backlash. Going back in time, Taylor Swift had a lyric about being gay. She changed it. The Black Eyed Peas released that song that we all think of as Let's Get It Started. And I didn't know this. It was called Let's Get Retarded. Do you think that sort of retroactively editing your music in this way to suit the critics online undermines the art? Absolutely. It's fine for them not to like it. It's fine for them to hate it. It's fine for them never to listen to that artist again. But the artist already told you how they see it. To change what you do for them, it's, it's odd. It's, it's odd. It's like if you write a story... And then the audience says, we would like the story to be different than the story you wrote. It's odd. You know, everything that we make in, in some way is a form of a diary entry. No one knows what's in my diary. You can't write my diary entry. It's insane. It's a crazy idea. So art is a, it's a, it's, this is how I see what I'm seeing. I might be being sarcastic. I might be making a joke. I might be dead serious. There's no way to know that. That's part of the fun is that we don't really know. We don't really know anything. It's when we start thinking we know that the whole system breaks down because we know so little, so little. And if we embrace that lack of knowledge, then we have power because anything's possible. We get to see we're surprised all the time when something comes through or doesn't come through. But when you invest yourself in the outcome of something and then it proves some way to be different than you thought, it's no way to live. Welcome the changes. Be excited by what happens in the next scene. Be surprised. And it's hard when, when it's painful. You know, you, your um, friend of mine sent me a message the other day, asked if I could talk, and I called them back and they were going through uh, an issue of heartbreak and just wanted to talk about it. And in the moment, it's really hard to process these feelings that come up. And for those of us who've gone through any of these things or suffered with depression, you get to see that sometimes these things that we think of as bad things were the thing that had to happen to allow this great thing to happen that would have never happened had the bad thing not happened. And sometimes when something really that we perceive is really great happens, we think it's great and then the outcome ends up being bad. So we don't know anything. It's all just information. It's like enjoy the movie, enjoy the ride, play the part that you want to play in that movie. That's it. The other thing that's a little strange about our moment is that there's been a collapsing of the distinction between the work and the, and the maker or the art and the artist. A lot of the th things that were incredible that I love were made by some kind of bad, creepy people. Um, how do you deal with that? Or do you just dismiss that question entirely? I don't think they have anything to do with each other. I think that Humans are imperfect. Humans are fallible. And if we look at uh, gurus, so many of the, the yoga teachers and gurus, they're put on this pedestal of peace and love, and then they get me too And we forget humans are humans. The relationship between the teachings and the human are two different things. If you make beautiful art and you love the art and the person in real life is despicable, don't hang out with the despicable person. But that has nothing to do with the art. And that's up to you. And you can also say, you know what? I heard he's despicable. I don't want to look at that. That's fine. You get to decide that. You, it's all, to me, they're unconnected. The work is not a reflection of you. It may be your diary entry. It may be how you see the world, but you don't represent it. And it doesn't represent you. It's different than that. It's outside of you. It's 
beyond criticism, the art. You can criticize it, but it's beyond criticism. It doesn't matter. You either like it or you don't. It has nothing to do with, um, I don't like this art because the painter likes cheese. What does that have to do with the painting? 